If you're the type of person that's absolutely sick of people on YouTube and LinkedIn talking about Microsoft Fabric and you want to get your hands dirty and actually try the thing for yourself, this is the video for you. As you might know, Microsoft is offering a free trial of their public preview of Microsoft Fabric, which is very generous to them, so you might as well take advantage. But how do you do that? If you've tried and failed, then this is the video for you. I'm going to be walking through exactly the steps that you need to take to activate a free trial. And once you've got your trial set up, then I'm going to be walking through some of the things that you have to bear in mind with this trial. So let's get going. So first things first, here I am in Power BI. I'm actually at app.fabric.microsoft.com. And this is familiar if you've been using Power BI, this is the interface. And you've noticed that recently there's been some changes to the user interface. For example, now you can see some of the fabric items like One Lake, Data Hub, uh, Monitoring Hub. But the most important thing is down in the bottom left hand corner, what we're missing here is the Microsoft Fabric Exchange um, widget for changing into different experiences in Fabric. So if you can't see that, what that means is Microsoft Fabric is not enabled on your tenant. So the first thing you need to do is if you're a tenant, tenant administrator, you need to go into your tenant admin settings. And if you're not, you need to speak to your Power BI tenant admin or your global admin for Microsoft. And as if my magic, here we are in another view of Power BI. This time I've changed accounts. I'm now in the tenant administrator account for this tenant. So I can go into settings and in the admin portal. Now in the admin portal, there's this, the one at the top is the most important one. Uh, there's two main settings that we need for Microsoft Fabric. The first one allows us to create any fabric items. So that's whether you're in a trial or not. So the first thing we need to do is enable this if you're tenant admin or get your tenant admin to do this. Um, we can either set it to apply at the organizational level or we can do it for specific user groups or accept specific user groups. So let's just enable that. So now we're gonna have the entire organization enabled to create fabric items. So if we jump back to our user and we refresh the page, now this can take up to 15 minutes to actually work, but as you can see, it's already worked in mine. And now we can see this Power BI sign. We can see this experience. We can select different experiences in Fabric. So this is what we need to start to do. So if we go on create, then see all, And that's going to bring us up with all these different options of resources that we can create in Fabric. But if we go to create one of these in our user account, it's going to say, no, upgrade to a paid Microsoft Fabric capacity. Well, we don't want to do that right away. First, we want to do a trial, 60 day trial. Why not? Okay, so let's go back into our admin portal. And now we need to enable this second option. This is users can try Microsoft Fabric paid features. So here, this is gonna allow people to, like it says, create paid features, but also take advantage of the paid features in their trial. So this is the second thing we need to enable. And again, you can do that for the entire organization, or you can potentially do it per security group. So I've created a security group here called Fabric Trial Users. We apply that then everyone in that security group will now have access to this free trial okay so now let's just refresh this and let's see so now we're going to come through to this screen so it's going to say successful upgraded to a free microsoft fabric preview trial we've upgraded the workspace happy days so you've got your trial capacity this user now so now what this person can do is obviously create resources. So for example, yeah, can create a lake house. So my trial lake house, and that is how 
you enable your trial, just to go over the key points, we need to make sure that the tenant admin has enabled us, has enabled fabric on our tenant. And secondly, they've enabled uh, users to access the paid features. Okay, so I just want to finish the video with a few frequently asked questions about the fabric trial. Obviously, how long is the trial? It's 60 days. What happens at the end of this 60 days? Well, if you don't purchase Microsoft Fabric during that time period, then they're just going to delete all of your resources that you've created, all of your fabric items that you've created. So make sure you plan for that if you still want to maintain the things that you've created during your trial. If you can't see fabric in your region, that will be because it's only available currently in these regions here. And the next question is, what happens if I want to buy fabric? I've already, maybe you've done a trial and now you want to actually buy it. What are your options for licensing? Can I use Power BI licenses? All of these questions I'm going to answer in my next video. So make sure you subscribe, like this post. And if there's anything that you want to know about fabric, leave me a comment because I'm going to be making lots more videos like this in the future. So good luck with your trial. Hope you build some cool stuff and let me know how it goes.